Hello everybody and welcome to a new Let's Play series on the Lachlan Plays channel, Killer7. This is one of my all-time favorite games and I think is incredibly unrela uh, unrelated, uh, underrated as a game, sorry, just skip back to the title screen here, which is pretty badass in its own right, so we might just let it play out. Oh yeah, isn't that cool? I think it's pretty great. Anyway, we'll get started here, and we'll see how we go. Go for a new game. That always got me. Uh, we will play on... Eh, sure, we'll play normal. Because I haven't played this game in a long time. I am running this on an emulator, so it does look a little bit better than it used to. Some of the JPEG graphics, or, you know, the static images are a little bit uh, distorted though, but that shouldn't be a problem. So, apparently we are targeting target zero, Angel. Now this game gets a little bit, uh, what's the best word for it, weird in, or just in general. And it takes a little bit to figure out, but I will try and explain it the best I can, considering I have not played this game in a long time. So I am controlling this red dot here. And I suppose we'll shoot him in the face. I'll shoot him in the hand. Because I'm a bad, bad man. BAM! Yeah. Crazy Japanese symbols there, which I do not understand. And it's the blue moon. So this crazy craziness must not happen often. I'll just uh, let this cutscene play out for the time being. Garcia and Smith. I got secret deals and shit, Christopher Mills. What's he got? What's he got in his briefcase? I can't remember. Ominous music. Who is Wait, it? So you're there yet? I'm here. This shit all? That's where they all hang out. Our information tells us that there's 14 of them. I wonder if that's Christopher Mills. And they're all for hunting. Nah. They're all keep for keep one alive so we can ask who their boss is. Oh, we're going to interrogate that bitch. Anything else I should know? Nah, yes. Not really. You'll know when you see them, they're, uh, different. How different? Will do. Okay. May the Lord smile. And the devil have mercy. Mm, I love that quote. One of my favorite all-time quotes. Oh, all-time favorite quotes, rather. A free-for-all fight in the multi-purpose facility. Celtic building. Assignment number 33. Destroy the Heaven Smile headquarters and capture the chief alive. Should be too hard. Um, yeah, we'll learn the controls because I don't remember much. Tutorial. All right. Use the X button to or up directional button to run. Now this game has a little bit of an unconventional playstyle. It is on rails basically. So if I push X here, we'll just keep running. I'm not controlling the direction. But if I press the triangle button, or down, I will change direction so I can spin around. And if I hold down R1, I'll ready my weapon. Now this guy here, you might not be able to see them, but uh, they're invisible until I scan for them. Which is not too hard to do. Just hit L1 and I can use a directional button to change targets. Now, the first time I played this, I played it in... I played a Japanese import, I think it was. And I didn't actually know any of this, so I didn't know you could change the, um... the targets using the directional buttons. And it took me forever to finish this game. And 
it was a much harder game. I also remember that uh, these little fiery spots down here are weak points, so we will explode the shit out of them. <laughs> Die, fuckers. They also explode into ribbons of blood like that. Also, another thing about this game is when you reload, you <laughs> go through a little animation like that, which is fairly cool. I do enjoy it a lot, so we'll just count on this guy until he shoots giant rivers of blood and explodes. Uh, we will go back to running. Uh, to navigate in this game, you need to choose a direction when you get to a point like this. So we will head to the entrance and start the game for real. Uh, we will not learn the controls. Whoops, we did learn the controls again. My bad. Uh, we'll just get out of here. Come on, turn around. Uh, sorry about that. Why is it laying me out? Oh. Just die, you bastard. I will destroy you. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> anyway, as you've probably noticed by now, there's got this game's got a bit of a weird sort of thing going for it, especially with the guy in the gimp mask or the gimp suit, rather. How do I get out of here? <sighs> mm. Stuck in the tutorial. All right, now we're done for realsies. I really should have just restarted the thing again, but I feel like I'm on a decent roll so far. You know, it doesn't happen to me often, and I usually have to take one or two takes, but, you know, I get there eventually. And here we are, starting the game for real now. Got another cutscene. Garcia and Smith. What are you up to? What are you doing in that fancy way? Whoa! That's right. Looks like we've morphed into one of the many characters you don't of Killer Seven. Go any further. Why not, it's friend? Dangerous. Come on, tell me. My friends are all dead. Yeah, yeah. They were all murdered. I'll murder you in a second. That look like this. Look like this? Oh, uh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, to heaven, smile. Those guys are really fucking scary. <laughs> Bam! Oh shit! Take There's that. More than fourteen. Oh, those bastards are breathing. Yeah. This is Dan Smith. Now, one of the things about Killer7 is that there are seven characters, and the main character, well, I guess there's seven main characters, and you can morph into them, and they all have different skills and abilities. As we saw before in the tutorial, Garcia and Smith had a silenced 9mm handgun, I think it was, but uh, character here, Dan Smith, has a revolver which I think later on in the game we can charge up. I think it's also considerably more powerful. And he's just a more badass character in general. Uh, this is Iwaza Iwazaru, and he is sort of like the help character of the game. So we will talk to him, see what he has to say. Master, we're in a tight spot. A real tight spot. Like, I haven't seen you for ages. It is I, Vinsel. Dill, Iwazaru's boss at your service. Just call me Iwazaru. Let me show you along the way. Ooh, he's got his eyes stitched up. To the right, Master's Room. Now, Master's Room is the save room, I think. Straight ahead, the enemy. Let the bloodbath begin. Music to my ears in the name of Harmon. Okay. I never actually played this game in full high definition as I'm emulating it now. And I've never actually seen the detail on his eyes like that before, especially since the last time I was playing it wasn't on a high-definition TV, it was on one of those big, old, standard-definition TVs. So we will head into Harmon's room here. Let's see what Harmon has. Ooh. Hello, Samantha. Oh, come back. Okay, so Samantha lets us save, so let's save. No data save, and we will de definitely save some. Getting a little bit of frames there, but, you know. What can you expect? Uh, we will check out this TV as well, since I think the TV allows us to 
donate blood, I think, in return for upping our stats. Now, thick blood up there in the top left is what you can donate to get skill points, basically, to put into all the different characters. And we can also oh, cycle through the characters here. here. We have Garcia and Smith. And he was the guy that we saw previously, and that's, I think he's health. Wait here. Uh, Dan Smith, who has less health, but I think he has more power. I've changed my makeup. We have Katie Smith, who uh, is, no, who has a, I think a deagle or, you know, a large handgun with a scope. Uh, we have Kevin Smith, who we don't really know much too, too much about. I think he can go invisible. What did you say? Uh, Coyote Smith has a skill that allows him to jump up into unaccessible areas. Later. Uh, Con Smith Pete. has two handguns that fire really fast, and he also reloads really quickly. He can also run. I think he can duck under things. Uh, and the Mask Dismith, which we haven't unlocked yet, which I will show you later. I think some secret characters there we haven't got yet. So we'll head on out of here since I don't think there's much for us here. Uh, we'll check out the rest of the room too. And here's our old friend Iwazaru. And he just gives us, you know, tutorial. So we'll leave those. Since I think I've got a fairly good grasp of the game so far. As our old friend was our just said, let the bloodbath begin. It's been a while since I aimed in this game as well, so I think my skill is a little bit off. We'll see. Alright. Oh, heard some laughter there. And zoom in. And we'll... Yeah. A little weak at first. Because I don't usually play his hand. But if I hit him in that uh, giant fiery ball on his leg, he will die fairly quickly, and I think we will get some thick blood to use up as an upgrade. Here's our Wazaru again. Master, we're in a tight spot. Tight and out of sight. Let me make a suggestion. You must turn back. Never! This is the enemy's turn. So we're gonna go invade. Shudder to think. Why would you shudder? Their bodies are lined with bombs. Alright, that's something to shudder about. Um, don't want to get exploded. They'll bomb rush you. Literally? Okay. Eliminate them before they blow. So I think what Wazaru was saying here, in the name of Harmon, that is that if the enemies do reach us, they will damage us by exploding, basically. So every enemy we come across is basically a suicide bomber. Making this game a little bit more hectic. Okay. Another dude here, we have to scan for him. We blew up his arm there, we did get a bit of thick blood. You see that on the side there, on the left hand side. And the blood should, yeah, see, we've got blood at the top. Reload as well. Now talk to Travis, okay. Ooh, nice shirt, friend. I don't remember him. Uh, your chief killed me? You already forgot? I'm Travis! I'm the killer who got killed on the job! Let's be totally honest here. You think I'm a pain in the ass, don't you? I do. Hey Smith, I ain't letting you go nowhere. Now, I may have mentioned before, but all the characters in this game, or all the characters you can play as in this game, have a last name. Smith. And that comes into play later on, but we'll see that in the story mode later. Talk to Iwazara again. This game is a tiny bit tech heavy, but it's good. We're in a tight spot. We're always in a tight spot. This guy is a true freak. Which guy? This guy up on the train? Oh, that's not a train. It's doors. Don't be alarmed. Here's my trusted companion, Kikazaru. Uh, those that the master seeks. The bullets. He loves them so. Okay, he loves bullets. I also love bullets. We could be friends. Search for them tirelessly. Okay. We will search for them tirelessly. Bullets of the soul. Otherwise known as soul shells. In the name of Han. Alright. So, there are these things in this game called soul shells. And I think you get them from doing various jobs or, you know, helping... Not helping people. But, uh... You need them to finish the level. I don't... It varies in the way that you pick them up. I think the first one is in the boot of a car, I think. But uh, you have to defeat a boss monster to get to it. But uh, you can trade them later on to get through the level. So we'll head on out to the parking building here. I 
think this is where we get our first soul shell. This game was friggin' impossible for me when I was doing playing it in Japanese. Ooh. Camellia Smile. <laughs> oh shit. Um, we'll leave Azari for a second and blow this guy up. Oh, come back. Okay, we did kill him. I'm not sure what's gonna happen here. Oh shit. Alright. Oh god. Um, I'm not liking where this is going. Um, let's shoot this yellow thing. And hopefully shoot the eggs again. Die, you bastard. And we'll move it forward. Alright, I think we got it. Just to make sure we'll take out this egg. Oh no, don't blow us up, don't blow us up. Oh god, he blew us up. Um, wasn't wanting that to happen. But it does give me a chance to show off where our life is in this game. Uh, as you may have noticed before, up in the top left hand corner, sitting in the middle of our compass, was a fully opened eye. Now that we took one hit of damage, uh, the eye is partially closed. Which means that we're at half health, I think. If we take one more hit, we will die. Uh, I will probably eventually die, so I will show off the other part of this game, which is resurrecting your characters. And we do have Travis here again. Nice shirt again. This is just a duplicator. An egg-laying heaven smile. Refitted to clamp down on the city. This sucker pumped out countless duplicates. That took this country down. Hey, Smith. It's your job to eradicate heaven smile, right? Then seek the queen. The gatekeeper is in charge of the queen. Give this to the gatekeeper. He won't be disappointed. Now, here's our first soul shell. The gatekeeper basically is the guy who holds the keys to the door to the boss of the level. And to get there, you need to give him a certain number of soul shell, or soul bullets, or whatever they are. Here we go. Soul shell. And it just basically looks like a bullet with a big piece of meat on it. But it's nice. We got some cool stuff now. And I think we can head on out of here. I don't know if it was our who's gone. No, he's still here. So we will see what he has to say. Master. We're in a t we're always in a tight spot. I'm so sick of being in a tight spot. This mayhem is out of control. Our members have a thirst for terror. With the Hellion, use the R1 button and press square button three times. Well, that would have been useful to know, actually. When the test tube fills up with blood, you can fire a deadly shot. Okay. Um, the devil's bullets. Now, I think that's just a charge shot, basically. And you can only fire with enough blood. Okay. So I think that does use up our thick blood that we can use for upgrades. Alright. Not too hot so far. A little bit worried about our health. Alright, where are we headed? We've already talked to Travis, because it's uh, blue on that little thing. And we'll head down the northern hallway here. Should reload, just in case. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Can't figure out the controls. Ah! Explode into blood! Okay, so R2 does change uh, to look behind us. Alright. And we'll hit the stairs. Second floor. Ooh, it was Zarya just popping up everywhere. Master. I'm getting kind of happy about being called Master. Still in a tight spot. An ultra tight spot this time? Life is precious. And the enemies mean business. They're called Heaven Smile. But look at their eyes. There is nothing heavenly about them. Yeah, they do look kind of creepy. You don't really have much to help with, do you, Iwazaru? You just sort of tell me I'm in a tight spot and then tell me it's in the name of Harmon and etc. 
expect me just to understand. Second floor. Going up. I almost got crushed in an elevator door the other day. And the people inside were like, oh my god! <laughs> okay, someone needs my help. A little bit freaked out by the screaming. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! You're gonna get exploded! Ah! So much blood. So much blood. So let's <laughs> blow this guy up. Oh god, there's two of them. One guy's fatty. I don't know if that's because... I will reload. I don't know if that's because he just got blown up into one. Okay. Fat guys are obviously... Oh god! One more! Didn't realize. Almost got blown up again there. You gotta be careful because this game... The enemies will sneak up on you. Do I hear something? I hear footsteps. No? <laughs> no, there's another one. Hopefully I recoil. Oh, keep blocking on these things. Still haven't got one of those critical hits yet. Um, I think they give us extra blood. Do love those cinematic reloads. And the extra blood will allow us to get better reloads. So we'll check up in the harm's room here. Hopefully use some of our thick blood for a reload. Ooh, who's this? Another woman. A little bit more trashy than Samantha, I think her name was. But still rather attractive. Uh, we'll check out the TV here. And I think we should put some of our thick blood in here. So we will do a blood transfusion to create some serum. Now the serum are basically skill points. So let's go over Wait here. and I've changed my put Wait some here. stuff I've into somebody. I've changed so Wait let's go with uh, Dan Smith for the moment. Now, everybody has a skill, that they, well, different stats and skills. So these are the skills here. And if you upgrade power and speed, everything will get faster and more powerful. And um, Yeah. Get instant kills with criticals and target locked. Apparently for waiver, I haven't really figured that one out. Um, also get, you can upgrade a charge shot, I think. Or maybe that's just uh, what you get to do. We can select different characters from here as well. So I will try out Later. Con Smith, because I do like him. And we'll save our serum just for now. I don't think we can save just yet, but shouldn't really need to. There we go. So we changed our characters now. And we'll head back out to the hallway. Con Smith pretty much functions the exact same shooting wise, except he has. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Um. Bam, 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 bam. He's dead, boo. Do I think there's anybody else around? Yeah, I was gonna keep an eye out. I'm a little bit worried about the sound. Because I keep thinking I hear, I'm hearing footsteps, but there's nothing there. Okay, this game does give me the creeps just a little bit. Ooh, a new enemy, a micro smile. They <laughs> tend to be a bit hard to. No, don't turn around, you fool! Um, this is probably good that I picked up the head here. Because we are dealing with a lot of enemies. And I am a little bit worried. Uh, didn't, wasn't too hard to take out those guys. Hopefully we can get this micro smile here. I think they do go down in one hit, but they are kind of hard to hit. Let's just do that really thick one more time. Yeah. Tasty, tasty blood. Uh, head down the eastern hallway and see what's around. <laughs> oh god, a runner. His, uh, cons... Sort of, uh... Hard to hit enemies at long range. He excels at short and medium range, though. Um, someone else got exploded, apparently. Let's have a look. Uh, <laughs> Poor you. you. Help me. Nice hair, though. Oh, uh, she got exploded. You should clean yourself up, girl. I wonder if she's gonna be okay. Uh, let's down, head down the northern hallway. 
into... Okay, it's locked. Now, I did say that Coyote Smith can unlock doors, but I think he can only unlock doors with lock picks. But we'll see if we can change character to him here, because I think he can do that by pressing start. Here's our pause menu here. Let's see if I can switch. Uh, Coyote Smith? There we go. I don't think that hurts us or has any sort of penalty, actually. So I probably should have done that before. Let's see if we can unlock. Lock from the other side. Okay. I suppose it'll give us a chance to show off Coyote Smith here. <laughs> and show him what we will. He holds his revolver like a badass. Think of him as a more... What's the word I'm looking for? A more... laid-back version of... Dan Smith. Bit of a party boy, if you will. Oh, like the old times, yes. You tell me, how's old Smith? Things going good with Mills, no? That old Smith, not much of a successor. Screw you, man. A good man, yes, thanks. Sorry I said screw you. Thank you, much gratitude. Ready for today's hint? Sure. Didn't know he'd give me a hint. I checked the candlesticks. A strange design indeed. It is hidden here. The order is hidden here. You want to know more? Of course. Then use this mask. Okay. Shoot the mask and the mask will tell you. What will it tell me? Okay, I think we get an extra hint if we shoot the mask here. So, I am going to shoot the mask because I am brave. And because I can't not. Because he challenged me. I gotta do it. Got to shoot the mask. Stop cleaning your boots with your gun. You've got a badass gun though. Uh, let's shoot the mask. Shabam! Okay, probably not the best camera angle for that. What a douchebag, he's giving us the finger. He's wearing the mask. So you are the worthless loser. What a pitiful existence. I am the true mask. What happened to the other guy? I shall guide you. The ring of fire. Numbers shown on the candlesticks from one to five. Okay. Follow the order and ignite the flames. Shouldn't be too hard. Tomorrow it could be me. Huh. Let's shoot him one more time because screw that guy, he gave us the finger. Bam, bam, bam. And we will head to room 212. And see what's inside. Nice air. Here's the candlesticks this guy must have been talking about. So we will check them out. Insufficient flame. Alright, so I guess we need something that lights something. Maybe a lighter. I think what you need to find is a fire ring. But we'll see if that pops up later on. Yeah, let's turn on the aircon. Conditioning unit powered on. I think that resets the candles. Uh, we'll see. So we gotta find a way to light them first. Mm, PS2 loading screens. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god. <laughs> Die. Yeah. That ribbons of blood thing never gets old. Um, yeah, let's head up the hallway. Nothing of interest so far. Another cutscene here. Ooh, who are you, friend? Please help me. It suddenly disappeared. You look a little bit worth aware. A white light flashed before me. Everything is transparent. I held his hand. Whose hand was it? 
It wasn't mine. I'm going go to jail. Please help me. I can't see a thing. Yeah, you've got white eyes. You should probably go to an optometrist and get that shit checked out. Stairs. Gotta keep fit. Gotta work them legs onto the third floor. All right. Now we did miss a hallway back there, so I will eventually check that out. Um, in fact, I might check it out now before we head on up to the third floor. I do love the stair walking animation there. Because I am a little bit nervous about missing some things. Considering there was a room locked from the other side, I think we might be able to find a way in there. There is also a heavy smile on here somewhere. No? This game always freaks me out when it spawns enemies. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Die. 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 Crush off. Humiliation. Up the hallway, down this hallway. He's such a badass. Head down the hallway we didn't check out before. Oh, hey, Travis. Let's talk shoes for a second. I gotta figure out which voice is for who. Have it smart. They're holy warriors. Shit. Ain't that pretty wicked? Warriors who fight with a holy rule on their side. Use death as a weapon. Like suicide bombers. Yeah, they're target. The very dignity of the country itself. But why should you understand the meaning? Shit, you're a killer after all. Thanks, Travis. Always a top Aussie bloke. Guess there wasn't anything that interesting. But it's always nice to see Travis again. We hopefully will find our way into that locked room. But as I mentioned before, I think Coyote Smith can only open locks that, you know, actually look like padlocks. Um, let's try a different character. Since Coyote Smith here isn't really doing it for me at the moment. Um, could go Master Smith. Now, uh, he didn't show up before, but he has a grenade launcher. But I think it can damage him, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Um... Let's go Katie. Shabam! Love that. Now, her gun... Is this thing? It has pretty low recoil as well. It has a fairly large reload speed though. Uh, also while we're here, check out our items. I don't think we have any rings yet. Nope. We have a photo. I think that's the guy we have to kill in the middle. And we have our soul shell on the left hand side there. We also have our memos. Which, uh, I think there's a collection of pigeons you can find, like carrier pigeons. But we don't have any at the moment, so we'll head on back. And we'll head down to here. We've also got our blood, which is uh, our thick blood that we've been collecting. Alright, we'll head on up. It was Aro. Who are you, master? We're, like, oh, we're always in a goddamn tight spot. A major tight spot this time. It was an ultra tight spot, so I think it's getting less tight. He's here. Yes, him. Master, you can't. You're going to. You're going to go and kill him. What? Impossible. Impossible. You're a fool. An incorrigible fool. Thanks, Rosario. I thought we were buds, like, best buds, like, top Aussie blokes together for life. I think I was calling me stupid twice. I should bust a cap in his ass. In the name of the fool? I thought it was in the name of the Harmon. Ah. You'd say that to a lovely woman like Katie Smith. Um, let's check out this hallway. Look at her run. Oh, we've got a carrier pigeon here. Let's see what message it has for us today. Dear Amir, it is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, and many thanks for choosing me for the job. My name is Johnny Gagnon, otherwise known as Speedster. I get excited when I slit a guy's throat. I know that may be sick, but I do the best work in town. This is a report on the job. I'm sure you will like what I have to say. I watch them like a hawk, so I think a hefty reward is in order. There are seven in the Smith Syndicate. 
Now, I do believe he's talking about us, as there are seven characters in our sort of team, and we all have the last name of Smith, so I presume we are the Smith Certificate. Uh, Dan Smith, who uses a large caliber of bullet, yes, I was correct. Katie Smith, who we're playing as now, who uses a large automatic rifle, I'll say it's more of a handgun of sorts. Con Smith, who uses two full auto pistols, which uh, we did try out before. Master Smith, who uses grenades, or a grenade launcher rather. And Kevin Smith, who uses knives. I do believe he can also go invisible. And uh, Coyote Smith, who uses a modified gun. Garcia and Smith, who uses a small pistol, who we did see at the beginning. And uh, there are, they are an armed force that rivals a small army. You wouldn't want to be in their, on their bad side. In conclusion, it is in the interest of the United States to keep them around. There's no telling when they might come in handy. I'll be contacting you again, Johnny Gagnon. That was Bianca the Carrier Pigeon. Bye, Bianca! Katie looking a little bit listless, I would say. And we're heading to Harmon's room here. TV. And we'll donate some blood here. Pray some serum. Did get a second thing of serum. We will start spending those sometime soon. Oh, oh, let's wait. check out if there's anything Later. different here. But I do have to figure out how to save at some point. <laughs> I still haven't figured that out. Go into the room. Maybe talk to Azar. See if he knows anything about how to save. Master. We're in a tight spot. I probably should have figured this out beforehand, but you know, it's that maid, Samantha. When she's dressed formally, she's all work and no play. She's a reliable save maid. Oh, okay. Well, I did pick the right thing to figure out how it worked. So I guess we can only save when we are in we are in a room where she is in her maid outfit. An out of control net surfer, that sounds like me. The room with the red lamp indicates formal attire. The room with the green lamp, her casual garb. Okay. In the name of the Harmon, yada yada yada. I think he was Ari must be into some crazy shit. Uh, and we'll leave him be for now. We'll head on out. I'm not going to spend any of our serum yet, but we will eventually. Head on to the third floor hallway. Hopefully to bust some more caps in some more asses. Because <laughs> screw suicide bombers, right? Bam, bam, bam. Die, fucker. Yeah, she takes a while to reload. That might be a, a bad thing later on. <laughs> Oh no, it might be, it might be a bit trouble here. Ooh, I managed to go out of that one, only just though. I think we pushed him back with our bullets. Katie Smith might not be the right decision for us here. Ooh, I heard screaming. Alright. Uh, Yoon Hyun again. Old Smith. I sell information. But is not so simple. No! I checked the toilet. Hmm, it fills with water. And goes well with the sprinkler. How can I make it spray? Shoot the mask to hear more. I think we're going to get away with not shooting the mask on this one. Because I do want to hold on to our thick blood. And I don't know exactly how much it takes from us. So we'll check out the restroom here. God knows I could use one of those at the moment. But I will keep going until I find a safe spot. We'll try to make these videos <laughs> in manageable portions. Oh shit! <laughs> wow. Didn't think we were going to get out of that one. Whew. Gonna have a friggin' heart attack at some point soon. Check out the toilet. And we'll flush it. The visual style in this game is just amazing. Toilet has no water. Alright, check out the sprinkler. That noise means that it's a puzzle. And we'll head on out.
Concentrate there. Um, sometimes the controls get a little bit weird. I don't really know what happened there. I think there's still one more enemy. Um, we'll head on forward just a little bit. Hopefully, we won't get blown up as we go around the corner. Might have to turn this into you. Sorry, I got a bit uh, quiet there. Just need a bit of time to concentrate. Um, let's see if we can figure out this puzzle. So I don't think it's too hard. I'm gonna reload just to make sure there. And head to the library. Who knows what fresh hell awaits us here? Books, 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 as far as the eye can see. Okay. A lot of good books. Um, check out this hallway here. More stairs, really. background music. That background music gave me so many years of happiness. I actually downloaded the soundtrack to this game since it was that good. It, as I said before, it's incredibly underrated. Um, we are in a business save room here, so we will talk to Samantha and save since I probably will stop this episode here. Yes. There we go. And I do believe that will be the end of the first episode of this Killer7 Let's Play series. I'm Lachlan, and I will be continuing this series probably until the end. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, favorite it. But if you'd like to see more videos like this and of other obscure games and just games in general that I like and that are popular and just cool stuff in general uh subscribe because i'll be doing this every day thank you very much i will catch you next time <laughs>